What's going on guys? Haxa here with another episode of Skull the Heroes Slayer. Get rid of that 1.6.1 right there. I don't know why they make it like that, but they do, so I guess I just have to go with it. Um, so we have a pike here and an int skull. Thank you for being here, by the way. Uh, I do appreciate you guys. Um, hmm. So none of this pushes me in any certain direction, especially with run requests in mind. Um, I know I had a... Uh, a pike run request, but I think I forgot to put it in my uh, in my uh, notepad file here. So I that's on me. That's my bad. I guess I'll have to go and find it uh, and then put it in there later. But with that in mind, I don't think I should do the uh, run request because I can't remember it. So I oh actually I I, did, I wanted to go down here anyway. I never do. I always mean to because it's just a little bit of extra money. Not really like you you do not get a lot of money from enemies. That's how much I min max by the way. Uh, just so you guys understand my craft, you get like barely any gold at all from uh, from enemies, so that's just how uh, dedicated I am to making sure that I have as much money as possible. Uh, this run's going to be a very, uh, um, like, oh, 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 I was going to look at my notepad file, but I uh, wasn't thinking properly. Uh, this is going to be a very run request dedicated thing here we have. Um, I want to get some out of the way here. Yesterday's episode was more me going off the rails than anything, so I'm, I want to get one in this episode. Um, is this the good one or the bad one? Yeah, this is the good one. Uh, forward March is the bad one. That, In my opinion, that ability blows. There's not a lot of reason these days especially to have it, but um, forward rush is pretty good. Not that I think I'm going to stick to this pipe regardless. My own fault for not adding the uh, run request to the... Uh, to the list that I have here, which I will do uh, later on. So your run request isn't forgotten user who requested it. It's just I, I'm dumb and I forgot to add it. So my B, my B, my B. Also, it looks like we actually rolled a decent amount of doors here, which is always a good thing in my opinion for uh, YouTubing at least. Gives me more access to resources, which is very important. So I'm always happy to see it. I'm really hoping this episode that I get something cool because uh, I've had a lot of requests coming in for Davy Jones actually, which is hilarious. People heard my pleas for Davy Jones and were like, hey, you know what? We got you, okay? We're going to request Davy Jones for you so you don't have to feel as bad about using him. So thank you users for doing that, <laughs> which is just hilarious really. Um, I definitely want to do Davy Jones soon. I just have to be lucky enough to find him. I do have a, a couple of werewolf requests, but I'm not going to pick them up right now. Uh, I would like to maybe remove myself a little bit from the werewolf before I take him so soon after I just used him. Uh, I do Also, I have a sword run request I need to do. Um, like, it's been so long since I've ran with the sword, so I picked up this just in case I find him. Because uh, I want to use him. It's been way too long. Um, he's a very good skull, and I... Just like, I don't know why I don't pick him up more than I do, but it's just something with me that um, kind of, I, I noticed it and I pointed it out before, but I don't know. I just kind of tend to avoid the sword skull, which is very strange. I have literally nothing against it. I think it's a fine skull. I just kind of stay away from it for some reason. I also have a monkey request I should get around to too as, as well. Um, pick him up and take the pike and the monkey. Uh, the monkey request is very old. It's a stun monkey run that I've just kind of forgotten to do after all this time. I hope that user is still around. Uh, I hope people don't uh, take it personally when I forget to do their run request. Um, or not even really forget. It's just like, you know, 1.6 came out and I got very busy with um, just kind of testing out the new stuff that was in 1.6. And uh, kind of fell behind on run requests. But... Also, like, it's never personal, you know, it's just like, there's a, I have a bunch of them coming in at once, I have a whole list of them here, uh, it just takes me a while to get around to it sometimes, and I will eventually get around to it if I write it down, if I'm smart, and even if I don't write it down, I'll realize I didn't write it down and eventually get around to it regardless, so just, like, understand, you know, try to be understanding, uh, it's, ne it's never anything personal, let's pick this up, by the way. Um, I'm kind of on a bit of a strike here thing. I, I, I noticed it when I picked up the standard issue Carleon bow. Now I see the beak of Raptor and I have two speed skulls here. So maybe we could turn this into a strike run. Though if I'm doing the monkey run, it's meant to be stun, which I already have a piece of stun here. So pick up the standard issue Carleon sword as well and consider that a good shop and be on my way. Uh, I would be very down to do a stun monkey run. Um... It's a skull that utilizes it better than most because it actually has access to it. 
And also, speaking of stun, it's a much better status than it used to be. So when the person made this request, this was still 1.5 when stun was like a bit weaker, I would say. Uh, it definitely got better in 1.6 when they buffed the uh, when they buffed the status itself to uh, they buffed the or got rid of some of the um, unstoppable bullshit that it had to deal with, which I never would have realized is the problem that stun had. Or a problem, I should say, that stun had. And it was, so very interesting that it actually ended up being good. And yeah, hopefully we uh, find some interesting stuff to do with stun on this run. Uh, I guess I'll take the Master Brawler, but it's not an item I'm really probably going to stick to. Uh, I I'm not a big fan of it, if I'm being quite frank with you. I think uh, the, the hat items, as I like to call them, or the helmet items, I don't actually know what, what to call them. But like the Master Brawler and the Master Fighter, they got significantly worse in 1.6. Oh my god, Living Armor. We used him in the last episode. Why? <laughs> like my actual chance to use a Living Armor and uh, he shows up at the most unopportunistic time at the beginning of an episode where I literally just used him in the last one. And the problem normally is I can't find him early enough. We'll get around to him soon and get, make a proper use of him. But, uh, it just doesn't make sense to pick him up so soon after I just used him. I hope you, uh, understand Living Armor fans. Not that, I don't think Living Armor is the most popular skull or anything, so, you know, I don't, I don't think he's, like, too, uh, there's too many people who are upset I haven't gotten to use him too much, but I'm sure there's some people out there. I won't make fun of you like I make fun of Alchemist fans, okay? Alchemist fans are a different breed, okay? Although, like I've been saying, it, every time I use Alchemist, I come out feeling very positive about it. So, maybe I should change my attitude on Alchemist. But especially the more I use him. Uh, he's a very good skull. Uh, okay, so let's see if the, um, the unknown seed appears here. It does, and it did not appear behind this for once. In a run where I'm probably not going to take it because I see too many good items that I could take otherwise. Uh, Hunter's Boots are very good, um, and so is the Jenny's Chainsicle. Behind that is one of, I think that's Inner Malice, which I'm not too interested in right now. I'm more interested in this Jenny's Chainsicle than anything, I think. So let's pick that up. Jenny's Chainsicle is very good, especially on Pike. The the uh, earlier forms of Pike, because his inner attack is so fast that you could just spam Jenny's Chainsicle like crazy. Uh, I think I'll actually go ahead and upgrade this monkey. It's been a while since we've done monkey run. Might as well commit to it. Uh, stun monkey especially. So yeah, stun monkey it is, I suppose. Um, which means we'll have to get rid of some of the stuff we have right now eventually. But for now, we can use Ginny's Chain Sickle. We can use uh, Strike like we have. But I need to build towards damage percent and stun more than anything else on this build. Uh, that's the important stuff to do with... Um, with uh, stun because you also you like the stun effect is powerful but you need to compound it on top of uh, like a uh, a damage percent effect as well because you also at the end of the day need to have damage percent pretty much always in skull also I will take an item room here look at our money count we are swimming in dosh I think it's just because we high rolled our door counts we have so much money also, let's go ahead and swap here to our Pike and really show off the Pike's ability to use Ginny's Chainsickle. Like, pretty much better than any other skull I know of. There's not a lot of skulls that have uh, in air attacks as fast as early stage Pike Moon. He, he really falls off on his uh, on the power of his in air attacks as he continues to scale. Uh, let's get rid of master brawler i'm not a big fan of master brawler like i was saying i think it's a fairly weak thing i am looking for stun so let's keep that in mind here's some stun actually quite a lot of stun in this one specific area which is kind of funny i think we can get rid of this um do i want this it is stun but it's like a magic stun item i would much rather avoid it if i can but the thing is it's never a guarantee that I'm going to see more stun than this. Hmm. I don't know. Honestly, I'm going to pass it. I will take this, though, I suppose. Uh, not a lot of people would buy a Steel Golem. Uh, I'm not as uh, hard on Steel Golem as most people. I think Steel Golem is a perfectly usable Quintessence. 
it's it's like basic as fuck, obviously, but like that's not a bad thing. It's it's still a really good uh, item to have. It's like a, it, it, it's good, you know. It, it's it just kind of helps your run. It's like the way people should look at quintessences is as an extra ability, and this is a very low cooldown ability, is the way I look at it. So it's like very high uptime on it, and it helps you pretty significantly when you uh, have it up, especially the further you get into the game. Um, nah. I've done too many genie runs lately. I am looking to get off this pikeman, but uh, I want something maybe a little more unique that I haven't used as often as I have the genie. Like, genie, I would say, is probably one of the most used skulls on this channel. Which makes sense, because I do like the genie, but, you know. Let's try and make it a little more original. Alrighty, it's adventure time. Oh, Nope. <laughs> I got excited there for like a millisecond, but I'm not taking a water skull on this run. Though I guess that would be an interesting duo. It's a very asynchronous duo, so no point. <laughs> You're not ulting, my friend. I'm not letting you. I said I'm not letting you ult, yes. Like I can't talk a big talk and then not walk the walk, you know? Like if, if I'd let him ult there, that would have been embarrassing. But the thief certainly isn't ulting because he uh, he's very weak. There's never any time where this thief isn't um, just like pathetically weak. I think I can take a hunter. It's been a while since I have. Hunter is a bit of a weird choice on this run though. I'm not saying it's an excellent pick. I will swap off of it if I find something more interesting. Also, we didn't get the stun uh, skill, so I have to find an ability swap NPC as well. Uh, I, I, if I'm going to do a stun monkey run, it just makes sense to, like, really lean into the stun aspect, you know? So, I want to find uh, the staff slam skill. I don't actually know what it's called. I know it's not called staff slam. All right, let's see what we can get rid of here. I definitely don't want to dupe. I think I, I can get rid of this at this point. I don't want to do this, or this, or this, <laughs> or this. Yeah. Man, if I can get this, finally get a solar sword dupe, I might as well just get rid of this too. Fuck it. Let's try and, let's really try and get that solar sword dupe. I sold everything, which is crazy, but I'm feeling crazy. Yes! Uh, it's time! It's time! We got it! Dawn of the Crimson Sun! Let's fucking go! Holy shit. It's been a long time coming, too. I had to sell everything to ensure that, and I sold everything, and here it is. Yes, Solar Sword or, or Crimson Sun. Do it! Do it! Do all of the cool shit. I believe they patched out the ability for uh, duping this endlessly, but I th it's... Actually, no, no, no. They probably got rid of Crimson Sun from the... Or Solar Sword from the item pool to fix it. So, I was going to say, maybe we can still get Fulgent. But I don't think we can. Which is completely fair. Like, it was kind of a, a bit of a uh, <laughs> fucked up thing that you could get so many Crimson Suns in Lunar... Or uh, Argent Moon, I think is what it's called. But I'm finally happy to have it after all this time. Like, good lord, it took me so long to get this really just kind of ridiculous uh very uh like i just wasn't getting lucky and even then like i said i had to sell everything to get this so this is going to be a fun run hopefully yes blow up get everything in your fucking path uh do i want that i mean i sold everything i might as well grab it right mm, oh well we just used you but you're a very cool skull to see keep going None of this is uh, what I'm looking for. There's some stun. Let's go get some stun going. We almost have stun four. I'm going to be looking for the armor of fear for sure. I will grab this for the arms. It's not a bad item by any stretch. So, oh my God. <laughs> oh no. Our damage percent's already getting out of control. Look at this. We got an early metal box. Not early enough, sadly, to get the act two adventures, but we're going to get the act three adventures in it. So this, by the end of the run, is going to be a hundred percent boost to my damage. So already 100% from this, and then we'll have 100% from our metal box. This might be the craziest stun run ever. We'll have to see if we can get the uh, armor of fear, which is an item I'm very uh, interested in testing. I'm very excited about this run though, holy shit. 
a stun giga damage run which honestly isn't as crazy as it sounds especially in new skull the hero slayer um things have certainly changed a lot for stun in 1.6 especially it's a much better uh aspect of the game than it used to be uh, I'm not so. I'm still not convinced about this. Uh, this freaking, uh, sir. I'm not convinced about this hunter that we have. I would. I would like to potentially uh, swap off of it as soon as possible. So that is still a goal of mine. Though I don't think I want a clown instead. Uh, I've done too many clown runs. Uh, it actually, I don't know what would swap me off of it. I. I probably should have a better idea of it. I'm not against the hunter at all. I want to do a hunter run soon, but like, I don't know if a stun hunter run is exactly the uh, way to do it, you know? You're not getting me, sir. I know how to dodge you very efficiently, as you saw there. Ha ha! Death from above, baby, let's go. So I am very into this run, as you can clearly tell. Um. I should probably get some mutant. I don't know though. I don't. I'd have to find like multi-dimensional prism. I have enough item slots giving me raw stats that where I feel like I can uh fit like a, a fun item like multi-dimensional prism on here, where it's not giving me damage percent. But like if I'm gonna have a uh, mutant on this run, it needs to be good mutant, which I guess could be the, the, the giant's axe potentially. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We have plenty of time to figure it out. You are getting absolutely obliterated by my uh, monkey goodness just keep that in mind the next time you step up to me Lana sisters you're gonna get hit by the uh, crimson sun there also I'm gonna hit you with this you're not getting me man we really need that stun ability I'm really hoping I can find it there we go that's one Leona down uh, I think hitless which is a big deal by the way not for me um Leona hitless is not hard not for me. Like, if you're a newer player, I'm not trying to downplay your achievements or anything if you got Leona Hitless. I got Leona Hitless a long time ago, so. And I'm not going to try for it. Like, I'm not. Yeah, there we go. There's my hit. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> I I've said this a bunch of times in videos. Um, I'm not like a Hitless. I'm not an achievement hunter, for one. I've never been an achievement hunter. I don't care about them. So, I don't have all the achievements in Skull yet, and I don't plan on getting them anytime soon. I'm only missing a uh, Hitless first hero, and um, don't free any uh npcs so that should let you know just how little i care like i could easily get the don't free any npc achievement and i just don't because i don't think it sounds fun he's in if i see slime i can't dupe my items where's the fun in that i want to dupe my items every time i see him get out of here whoa um what do we have here uh okay there's the gold main rape here sadly a nether mana suppressor on a run where i can't really make use of it um, so I see this, the Cyclops, and I see this, the Goldman Rapier. That's basically all I see here. Goldman Rapier, I'll get rid of eventually. The Cyclops, I could keep forever, so let's take the Cyclops. Not a lot of people value uh, taking Quintessences, and I think that should change in the community. Quintessences are very powerful. You should uh, value them more than you do, for sure. I'm not going to upgrade my Hunter yet. I'm going to hold off until I get to the end of Act 3, Part uh, 1. And then, if I don't have anything better than the Hunter offered to me, I will upgrade the Hunter. But it's it's like I said, I'm trying to swap off of this thing if I can get something uh, valuable. Because, like, you know, like I just don't think it's very synchronous to uh, bring a Hunter on this run. But if I have to, I will. And Hunter does have access to stun on its traps. So it's like, it's not the, the worst thing ever. But I have to swap a lot for that, which I plan on doing regardless. So I guess there is synergy to be had. Oh, okay, that's an excellent freaking uh, Harpy for once. Thank you, Harpy, for not being so uh, awful and showing up at the worst moments. I'm always happy to see her when she, when she's useful. But most of the time she shows up at the end of a run where you already like have both of your legendaries built up and you don't need her. Get absolutely Cyclops. All right, give me my shards. Um, so I think we're maybe a little behind in shards, but that's not too awful if we can especially get like a unique or a natural legendary we can just make up for that oh speak of the devil oh baby there he is there he is and i'm taking him too i'm taking him 
this is probably not the best time to take him. Davy Jones is going to be playing second fiddle to our monkey here, but this is hilarious. And I'm, oh shit, baby. He's here. He's here. We got him. And we got, uh, what are, what are these? Prepare for boarding uh, the summoners that blow up, which I have played a Davy Jones run off screen since. Uh, I won't, I won't fib here. I wasn't a big super fan of prepare to, to boarding or whatever. Um, I thought it was a little on the weak side, at least from my experience with it. I, ha I still have never gotten the green summons, though. I will say that. I am a big fan of uh, the anchor, though. Um, but yeah, man, I'm super happy to see Davy Jones here. Let's go, man. I love Davy Jones. He's so fun. Get our uh, cannon summoned there. Still very new to him, though. Uh, I, I don't think I can do like the sword Davy Jones on this run. I can't take this, however. Uh, cause we're just so into this, uh, run we're on right now where we're kind of building towards like, uh, stun and damage percent. I just don't think it makes sense, but I'll get around to it for sure. Uh, this is like a side Davy Jones. Like this is like a Davy Jones cameo, you know, uh, there are going to be other times in the future where I make for better use of him, but we can actually take this giant's X now and feel very good about it. I'll go ahead and get rid of the mana or the Berserker's Gauntlet, which I'm just kind of not a fan of in general. So, man, dude, good vibes finding this Davy Jones. <laughs> Hell yes. I can't get too absorbed in it, though. I, this is a monkey run, so let's keep that in mind. Swap out. Uh, just keep in mind that Davy Jones is just here first. He's, he's supporting. He's playing a supporting role. He's like just kind of here for the party, you know? Oh, we have arms now? Arms four? What the fuck? One. Two, three, four. What the fuck? One, two, three. Oh, this is double arms. <laughs> right, 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 right. I, I've never played with this item, so forgive me. That that was uh, yeah. You know, it's it's new to me. Okay. Like, literally, I'm not even, like, front when I say I've never played with this item. Oh, let's get our double, uh, I love the, like, the good thing about Davy Jones is his, like, um, even if you can't get, like, the abilities on the, uh, the Giga Cannonballs, it's, like, his normal Cannonballs, when they're, like, enhanced, are just powerful anyway, so. Like, Davy Jones is just, like, such a good skull. It's so fun. Like, god, the devs knocked it out of the park when they made Davy Jones. And Mage, for that matter. 1.6 added, like, some really good additions to the game. Despite how small overall it was, man, they uh, they they did so so many good things in 1.6, especially the uh, the addition of um, the boss chest. That's probably my favorite addition ever to Skull. Even though I do think the boss chests are a little overpowered still, uh, I do think they were necessary. And like, there is ways to balance it. I just think maybe remove one or two items from the pool, and then boss chests are balanced. You guys are doomed, by the way. You're getting absolutely anchored here. All right, let's make sure we uh, stop her from ulting. This is still a monkey run. I always have to keep that in mind. Ground myself in the monkey reality we're in. You're not ulting. I fucking love staying in the air as uh, Davy Jones. It's so fun. Man, I'm so happy to see Davy Jones here. Look at this shit, man. We got him again. It just took forever, but we're here. Uh, I will break the Berserker and uh, upgrade my monkey to Legendary. So a monkey Davy Jones run, a little unorthodox, not exactly the thing people think of. But we're here, and we're going to make it work. I feel very good about this run. Uh, I think we're going to be very powerful. Though I still need to get the stun skill, so I need to remember that when I see a ability swap NPC. If I see an ability swap in PC, I should say. They are not guaranteed by any stretch. You are getting anchored and you are getting bombed. Uh, so these guys were completely unnecessary. You know what I'll do? How long? Oh, they disappeared. Damn it. I was going to. I'm going to do it anyway, actually. But I was going to uh, not skip these these uh, enemies here and spawn them in. And then he, they could blow up. Oh, it gets them, but it's fine. It's fine. They're still going to blow up regardless. Oh, yeah. Let's not take any skull rooms. I'm starting to get a better grip of that. I'm going to try and go into... Uh, like, I'm not. I'm going to try and avoid going into, like... Uh, after I have all of my skull shards, uh, skull rooms less and less now. Uh, something I kind of 
have an issue with uh, doing more than I should, at least. No! Uh, Thorny Pauldrons blow ass. I'm... You know, I, I, that's like one of my takes that I stand by, even though I don't think everyone agreed with me. Um, Thorny Pauldrons lost a lot of value in 1.5 when they uh, got weird inscriptions. And uh, it became less of like a build around your items game, and it became more of a build around your inscriptions game. Thorny Pauldrons lost so much value. Are we going to get Dickhead Legendary? I'm freeing this guy just so I don't see him again. No, we're not. Thank thanks, game, for not Dickhead legendary me. I very much appreciate it. Uh, I'll take an item room because we have a lot of money. Excuse me, I wanted to take a sip of tea. So you guys are not summoning your friends. And I you guys are getting Cyclops. Pretty much nothing's going to work out for you here. Oh, yeah. Thank you for blowing up your friends. Oh, man. Oh, I see a ghost here. I'm not going to... You're not getting a cannonball, okay? You're not that important. You're going to get monkeyed, and you're going to like it. Fucking commons. Oh, I guess it's not a common, but, like, still, you know, the audacity of the game to offer me a common. No. 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 Uh, there is the lunar ring, which we can't get. Oh, there's the multidimensional prism. Remember I said that thing? I said the thing. I don't think we can take it now, though. We need some damage percent. I guess I can take it over this. But we do need damage percent at this point. I think that's the most important thing I need to focus on. So I don't know how long multidimensional prism is going to be here. Uh, I don't think this is a very swap run. Like, I don't think we're like going to... Uh, we're not going to uh, Mutant 4 or anything. I should have saved this anchor, maybe, but I, I think we're going to be fine. Multidimensional Prism is such a good item, regardless. Like, I could t keep it, but we do need to focus on our damage percent. We're pretty low right now. Or actually, I guess we're not. Well, we do have the uh, Metal Box and the, um, the Crimson Sword uh, working in our favor here. Please give me Armor of Fear, by the way. I want that over that. We, we also could uh, stand to ditch some of our arms here. Like, I don't need to hold on to this. We're all, we're going to be at a weird number of arms regardless of what we do. Thanks to the uh, Crimson Sword we have here. Uh, can you die to the Lightning or something? Yeah, thank you. I, I did not want to use them there. And now you're going to get anchored in here. Thank you, Multidimensional Prism. I will always thank my Multidimensional Prism. I fucking love this item. It's my favorite item in Skull, basically. There's not a lot of items that rank higher for me than it. No, no to Abyssal Virus. You know what's going to be awesome here? Uh, I don't know if I've ever done this on a run, but like running into the Chimera and summoning my multidimensional prism where every laser is hitting her. That's going to be awesome. That's going to do so much damage. So let's see if we can do it here. I'm probably going to immediately swap out. Actually, no, no, no. Actually, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I lied. Wait, where's my multidimensional prism? I guess it's on cooldown. There it is. Yes! Yes! Every single beam was hitting her. Up. Now she dies. Yes. That was a really good Chimera fight. At the end of the day, that was very good. Um, all right, what are we getting in here? There's not a lot I could... Oh my god, bro, please. That's Mutant 4. I am just I guess I'm just going to take Mutant 4. Fuck it. <laughs> fuck it, right? Like, what the fuck? If you're going to give it to me, I'll take it. Like, screw it. Uh, The ring on every run. It's alive and well. Now we have treasure. God, this run is out of control. I still need... Uh, Stun four, and I need to get that ability. But we're get, dude. This actually, we're not even getting there. We're there basically. This run is crazy. Um, Davy Jones, uh, Monkey, Monkey it up, who uh, has been getting a lot of positive coverage lately. Earl made a good video about Monkey. Uh, I think Beals did as well. Uh, just like Monkey in general is starting to really like gain some respect, which I've always, always been a Monkey defender, even when it was unpopular. Um, he's not nearly as bad as people think. Uh, I, I still put him in like the, uh, the lower ring of my tier list and I stand by that. Uh, he's a little harder to use than most skulls, but if you know how to use him, 
especially if you're a swap fiend like myself, you can do a lot of really good things with the monkey. Uh, he's he's just like, you, you just you got to be a swap fiend, you know. You got to know when and how to swap. Uh, oh shit, we. Oh, uh, what the hell even happened up here? So as we can see here, right? He summoned his friends, and they still died. Uh, I do not know how they died, but they did. <laughs> Oh yes, Davy Jones flying through the air without a care in the world. Going to do the sword Davy Jones run that was requested eventually, but like I said, um, I have to get him early enough, and I have to be sword focused early enough to like to really make use of it. Like, with, if I'm not sword focused from the start, it just comes off a little weird for me. Also, my computer is lagging a little bit. I hope it stops. Okay, uh, we're back. Uh, my laptop just had a conniption fit. Um, Hopefully it chills. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I, this is like for anyone who's new here. I I do all of this on a really bad laptop. Uh, it's not a good thing. Uh, <laughs> like I, I'm I'm pretty much like squeaking by here. You know, like uh, my laptop is not good at doing this, but it it's good enough to do it, which I'm very grateful about. But I I always have to uh, keep in mind that this thing is like very old, and uh, I'm. I'm just, I have to be careful with it, because <laughs> it's all I have, and if I lose it, I won't be able to make videos at all, so. Uh, hopefully, uh, it's it's all good from here, is basically what I'm trying to say. Um, okay, so let's fly through the air without a care in the world. Ha ha! I wish you could do more than four cannonballs so I could just keep that going, but I guess David Jones has to be balanced, you know? Uh, but he's very good at like flying compared to most skulls. Most skulls like are, are not as good as uh, using sore as he is. He's like one of the better uh, skulls at using it. I would like to have um, what is that one item? Uh, wait, why am I saying that about one of my favorite items? Uh, Manatech gravity generator. Uh, I wish I had that to make up for like the time where I'm reloading my cannons, but I don't think I could fit it on this run. Like, we're just, it's so tight at this point where we're like, we don't have a lot of space for like, uh, just kind of, excuse me, by the way, experimental items. Uh, I just realized I'm on a, uh, a Mutant 4 monkey run, which is actually like, kind of the way I like to build monkey, because I think his swap is very good and powerful. And it's something that you should always be doing with the monkey, is swapping a lot. Because you, uh, you get more clones the more you swap with monkey. And that is very important on the monkey. Uh, I think we're about to get to the shop too, I should say. Yeah, there it is. I could just call it, you know, and there was literally no way I could cheat there. So you guys have to, everyone has to admit I'm good at calling uh, the shots in this game. Do it now, admit it. Um, God, we're going to have 10K here. <clears throat> or almost, basically. We pretty much have 10K, effectively. So what do I want here? I mean, there are a few items I would take, like Hope Slasher, obviously. Um, hmm. Hand of Glory could be okay. No, we don't have Antique, so I'll pass. Keep going. None of this is good. We don't have crit. I guess we do have some crit, but I don't think this is a gunpowder sword run. Though I guess it could be. Courage. We 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 need stun for, actually. I need to keep that in my mind. Not lose sight of what this run is supposed to be. Oh, there's stun for, actually. Speak of the devil. I almost didn't see it. So now I have to get rid of something I don't want to get rid of. Ah, uh, I guess it has to be this, right? So we lose our our mutant four. So let me read mutant four real quick. Thirty five percent. That's not that good, really. Um. Yeah, I'm thinking it has to be multi dimensional prism. I can't see any of this other stuff going. This could... Uh, we need Courage 2. Courage 2 has given us a fair bit of damage percent, right? Like, we, we do need that amplification. Everything else here is just, like, too good to get rid of. This could go instead of Multidimensional Prism, but that's 40% increase. Whereas this is not giving me any increase. But this is fun. I'm a... <sighs> what do I do? I don't know. I need the stun items. These are off limits. This is off limits, obviously. Um, and this is off limits. This is off limits. It's literally between these three. 
30% plus amplification. This is just 40% increase. Um, and this is nothing. So I guess the choice is... Actually, this gives me mana tech. Is that worth considering? Mana tech is not really a super good inscription. Yeah, I don't know. Fuck it, man. We do giga damage runs all the time, and this is still a really good run. So, fuck it. I want to keep my uh, multi-dimensional prism. I'm a big fan of this item. And now we have all of our stun items. I still want armor of fear, though. I hope I can get that item, but it's looking less and less likely. That would really turn this into, a, like, a giga stun run. But we also still need to swap off of our uh, monkey skills we have here. Like, how often do I get to see the multi-dimensional prism is ultimately what drove me to make this decision. If we get the, the physical increase here, that just, like... Like, that, the, the game is rewarding me for, like, playing for fun, you know? Not always building around giga damage. Which is something I kind of want to do more. Um, I do enjoy giga damage runs, obviously. But I feel like I... Like, this run... This channel started out as me just kind of goofing around... Uh, showing why I like I, the whole reason I started this channel was to show off how I play the game because <clears throat> I think I play it more uniquely than most people where I build uh, the two skulls every run which is not something a lot of people do which more people should do for the record but um and I also did goofy runs a lot and I feel like I uh, don't do that as much as I used to so kind of want to get back to that <clears throat> go ahead and get a giga anchor instead uh also let's clear our debuffs here um so yeah and also this is still a very powerful run like it, I, i'm acting like this isn't a giga damage run it is it's a giga damage run in disguise because we got the uh, metal box very early and also the crimson's uh, sun as well so like i don't even know what i'm talking about we're still on a giga damage run it's just i guess not traditional also sir Okay, that was very strange. I actually, maybe I should take advantage of that more often. I did not know that was a thing. Uh, very interesting, actually. A little bit of uh, information I just gleaned there. Apparently, he doesn't see you unless you're in the air when he summons. You're not getting out of here, sir. You're getting stunned into oblivion. <clears throat> also, let me crack a water real quick so I don't have to clear my throat in your ear a million times. Hopefully that fixes the problem I was having there. Uh, what are my cannonballs looking like? There we go. So this adventure is going to get absolutely obliterated. I don't know on what level, but I imagine they're not going to last very long against me. Let's see who it is first. If it's the mage, that could be weird. St oh my god, you got to be kidding me. I swear to god, she always shows up. Like, I'm actually starting to believe that maybe there is still some adventure problems and um she shows up way too often for it to like just be a coincidence um in my opinion i could just be being conspiracy theorist but like it, it can't be a fucking coincidence how often i see this uh adventure way too often let's go ahead and break this wall uh okay so i was hoping i would stop her before she ults but sadly not this is one of the first runs, I think, on the channel where I actually have Mana Tech uh, 2. Even 2. Like, I'm, I'm a very not big fan of Mana Tech, if I'm being quite frank with you. Um, I, I don't think it's very good. Uh, I kind of avoid it, especially Mana Tech 4. I think Mana Tech 4 is probably one of the most useless uh, 4x inscriptions in the game. But maybe for this run in particular, it can be useful. God, uh, all these kind of suck. So I guess we're just breaking the item and getting some money. But this run certainly doesn't suck. This is such an awesome run. We just got a little bit more damage too. Because uh, we killed one of the adventurers. So now we're at Metal Box 4. Low key, you know, we could have uh, gotten the Metal Box a little earlier. And gotten a little bit better of a uh, Metal Box run. But like getting a Metal Box 2 run is like... You can't ask for much better. Or a Metal Box uh, in the... Uh, bef before the Act 3 adventure fight especially. Like it's Metal Boxes are unique. And it's not easy to find early. So... We're definitely on a uh, very powerful run right now. Oh! Let's not be stupid here. I don't want to lose my life or anything. On a run this powerful, there's no point in losing my life. So, I'm going to take an item room here. We have a decent amount of money to make the shop we're about to move into work. So, 
I don't have to uh, take money rooms as much. Ooh, baby. Okay, let's uh, fly through the air here. That's so fun to do with uh, with Davy Jones. It's like such a stupid thing that he can do. I don't know if it's really intentional on the devs' part, but it's hilarious that he can do it. Ah! Uh! Also, I just realized we lost our in on swap date uh, effect for swapping into Davy Jones, which I still stand by. I completely stand by getting rid of the uh, the Giant's X instead of the multi-dimensional prism, just purely for fun reasons, because it's one of my favorite items. Um, Probably not, like, if I'm going for just, like, uh, the most damage done possible. It's not, like, the, the right thing to do, but it's the right thing to do for a fun purposes, so. I mean, look at this thing. It's awesome. It's, like, just one of the most flashy, cool item effects in the entire game. Go ahead and get a Giga uh, Anchor here. No! I was hoping I would stop him from summoning his friends. Also, stun is just horrible against these guys. Like, they completely don't even give a fuck about, um, stun. And they just, like, if you stun them, they're just, like, insta-summoning their friends. It's annoying. Give me a Giga Anchor, please. Thank you. Yes! Just get absolutely slammed into the ground, man. Just crushed into dust by my anchors. So happy we got Davy Jones here. Oh, God, dude, if I can just get Orc in this, like, next couple of areas, please, like, even if it's, like, a Joan reward, just give me Orc, man. I want Orc so badly right now. Very rarely will you see me be like, I want to get rid of Cyclops, but, like, if I can get Orc here, that would just be a dream come true. I was trying to do this, uh, the flying through the air thing here, and it wouldn't let me. Give me a Giga Anchor. Yes, yes, get absolutely slammed. Just crushed into absolute fucking dust. Just... You're microscopic particles now. That's all you are. You're dust in the wind, baby. Yes, and now you... You see, he thought he was so slick in his little bubble. But did he not... He didn't expect Crimson Sun to just explode his uh, his pedestal over there. Without me even having to go near it. If only I had the critters on this run. And I could just turn him into a critter instead. Like, that's like the fate that these, uh, these bubble assholes deserve. Just turn them into a critter and watch them squirm. Where are my sirs? They were going after this guy, which I guess is an unfortunate byproduct of uh, the bubble guys, too, is my fucking dumb pirate summons. Don't know what to do against them. And my clone over here did not do a decent job at killing that guy. Sadly, the clones of the monkey can't have item effects attached to them, which I think is part of the problem with monkey and why it's uh not everyone's favorite skull if if only you could have like gunpowder sword effect attached to all of the clones i mean obviously that would be ridiculous it would be so insanely op but it would be funny you know like no one ever thinks about the humor of it you know there's humor to be had there S devs there's humor to be had there just uh fyi i can get rid of this at this point i think I could also get rid of Justice Served, but I think this is better. We're not doing normal attacks enough to justify it. Uh, so I'm not going to look for armor here. I think I'll take the uh, Shadow Knights, though, because uh, it's a very good quintessence that uh, is just going to make this run absolutely ridiculous. So why not? Especially in a room like this. Like This is going to be out of control. Uh, just get him, Shadow Knights. I'm just going to stand back and watch. Okay, uh, maybe I shouldn't have. It didn't do nearly as much as I was hoping it would. But still, it was not bad or anything, you know? Uh, I'm actually really happy we got this. A little bit of damage percent increase, you know? A attached to our stun run in particular. Uh, I am a big... And this is like, even before 1.5 changed it. I was always a big uh, advocate for the, um, the Warrior's Mace. The Steel Mace, I should say. Yeah, Warrior Seal Mace. Uh, I think it's a better item than people ever gave it credit for, even back in the day. I think I have a video before 1.5 talking about it, too. If you want to watch, like, old, ancient, as in two months ago, Haxa content. Um, 
I talked about it then. Uh, it, it was a good item before. Now it's a much better item. But, like, it was always decent. Oh, Jesus. Did you die? Did you die? No. Well, who the fuck was summoning their dudes? I heard the noises, but I, I, I guess it was one of these guys up here. I guess it was this guy at the very top. Who I find very often, uh, like, summons uh, the minions without you even seeing him on the screen. Which I don't get what's so different about this guy up here, but he seems to do it very often. It's very strange. We never saw an ability swap in PC, so we didn't quite get the stun um, skill on our stone monkey. Which, you know, that happens. I'm still going to count this as the stun monkey run. Um, but that's Skull, you know. Skull kind of jerks you around like that sometimes. Uh, let's see how this Joan fight goes, but I'm telling you. I mean, it's in the bag. It is in the bag. Oh, Crimson Sun doesn't activate if there's no enemies on screen. That's fairly convenient. Get my stuff ready here with my Davy Jones. Don't activate now, Crimson Sun. Okay, yeah, it doesn't. It's going to activate once this fight starts, which is actually really good. I'm even in the center of the map, so it's going to blast both enemies. Or is it going to activate? There it is. What the fuck? Crimson Sun. Does it not count the pedestals as enemies? Oh, yeah. Let's summon our uh, Shadow Knights here. What the? How did I get hit by that? That I'm calling bullshit on that. Okay, shenanigans, shenanigans. Uh, that doesn't count. Uh, I had an uh, invincibility cloak on. You can't hit me there. Let's kill her from here. It's clones! Stop making a fool of me, clones. The clones were supposed to kill her there, and they didn't. That's just like, come on, dog. Let's get a Giga Anchor here for the start of this Joan fight. Remember in the last video where I fucking stopped her from summoning her orbs? That was awesome, bro. Like, I, I could have maybe done it here too if I was actually considering it because it was attached to statusing her with Frost. But we have Stun here, which does a very similar thing. I, I low-key want to do that again soon. Uh, it was very fucking funny. And I hate those orbs. They're so annoying. Like, such a minor part of the fight that you wouldn't think is very annoying actually is very annoying, so... Uh, we might get her before she gets away from here. Not if I miss my attacks, though. Get her with Shadow Knights. Please die. Please die, Jones. Thank you. Thank you. The Shadow Knights didn't actually do anything there. I killed her with um, something else. Oh, what do we got? No armor of fear. No legendary at all. What is this bullshit, bro? Come on, dog. Um, oh, God, I guess I got to break you unique. We have almost no money going to this Act 4 shop, so... Low-key, uh, got fucked here. Didn't even get a Legendary offered to me there. Which is just bullshit, quite frankly. Uh, the game owes me a Legendary. I owe you one Legendary. Please, game. Thank you. Um, but, I mean, the game's been very kind to me on this run, so I can't complain too hard. I mean, I got Davy Jones. I got an early Metal Box. I got, I, got, I got pretty much everything I can ask for, so... It's minor art, bad RNG compared to the giga RNG we got on this run, so fuck it. I got my Davy Jones run. That's really more than I can ask for anything here. Uh, I'm just going to hit them with the muzzle of my uh, cannon here. <laughs> yes, more giga anchors. I'm a big fan of the giga anchor. All right, what we got? Oh, God, dickhead fucking forbidden sword. Remember when we started that a couple of videos ago? It's still going, baby. Dickhead uh, Forbidden Sword. No. No. Good lord. Oh my god, I even fucked myself out of this. And I would have been able to take this. Oh my god, I'm a fool. I could have taken this in the first hero fight. This is a really good one, too. All cooldown speeds, by the way. Fuck me. That's even, like, cooldown on my swap. Man, I fucked up. Oh well. Uh, Here's our kit. It's a very good kit. I will be taking the screenshot now. Thank you, game. Or PC, I should say. Laptop. Um, laptop is very uh, very finicky this day for some reason. Even though I have every background process closed that can be closed. It could just mean a, uh, a, a Windows virus is on the way. Uh, for those who are uninitiated. That is me just like expressing my detestment of Windows Update. I despise Windows Update. It's a, it's a thing we have here. I fucking hate it. It's just like, when you have a bad computer, Windows Update just like fucks you for a little bit. You know, like there's nothing you can do. You're just fucked. Uh, your laptop is non-functional while it's installing it. And you just kind of have to deal with it. 
Also, good lord, I wish Shadow Knights extended the whole map. Like, why not, right? It's kind of irrelevant that it, like, there's no reason for it not to. Uh, I'll go ahead and open this. We're all, we have treasure on a Davy Jones run. I haven't even mentioned that. Uh, which, we have treasure on two very good items, too. All right. It's first hero time. Uh, but let me ask you a question. How do you think this is going to go? And um, if your answer is anything except, like, I'm going to destroy him, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, he's going to get fucked, quite frankly. Feel bad for him. All right, Mr. First Hero. I see you. And you see me. We're here together in this moment. Um, I'm Davy Jones, by the way. Uh, howdy. I don't think pirates say howdy. But uh, I'm saying howdy as a pirate. We're starting something new here. Pirates now say howdy. Um, can I get him with my clones? Oh my god, we're gonna kill him. We're gonna kill him before he uh, jumps in the air. No! I, f I fucking fumbled the ball there, man. Ah, dude, we were on such a fast track to kill him. Though maybe it was mostly... Um, I think that was maybe mostly the Shadow Knights dealing most of the damage there. But I also wasn't doing this correctly either, so I think that had something to do with it. Lag much? <laughs> hey! I said the thing. That's my catchphrase, by the way. Uh, welcome to the Haxa channel. Dude, I feel like I've... This was supposed to be a monkey run, and I feel like I've overemphasized Davy Jones. Which, like, when I saw Davy Jones, was kind of just bound to happen regardless. Like, because he is Davy Jones. He's just so fun. Like, just such a sick skull. Uh, come over here. Thank you. Now you're going to get absolutely destroyed by the clones. Which way was I facing when I fired that off? Okay, the, the right way. I was facing the good way. Get obliterated, sir. He's... Might not even make... Okay, no. He made it out of his first attack phase, but that's not a big deal. No! I fucked up there. Alright, he's doing this. Okay, I'm going to hit him with my uh, anchor here. And he's going to get frozen and die. Good fight, good fight. Wasn't a giga damage thing. Or, we didn't, like, completely obliterate him. He actually got into well into his attack phases there. But this also wasn't meant to be, like, a, a destruction run. We're just kind of here vibing with our Davy Jones, so... And vibing we are. This is a gr this is these are high vibes, man. I'm feeling it. Ah, oh, I got grabbed. Okay, that's low vibes though. No more grabbing, Mr. First Hero. When you grab me, I'm like, bro, you're you're completely harshing my vibes, bro. Just no grabs. I said no grabs. Do you not care about my vibes, man? First Hero, that's always been your problem, okay? If you had just, like, went on a picnic with your son or something, like, the vibes would have been immaculate, and you would have had a much better life. Just saying, bro. Alright, so what I'm going to do here with my uh, windscreen here is I'm going to Shadow Knights up here. And I'm going to... Yes, I did it! I... Dude, I'm not washed! I'm not fucking washed! I can do it now! I can do it! Even though I fucked up with the timing with the Shadow Knights. I meant there to be Shadow Knights running across the screen as well but i'm back man i'm back i can i know how to time it again remember all of those fucking videos if you're new you don't or maybe you went and watched some of my older videos as in like a week ago but um like for a while there i could not time this windscreen breaking shit like I, I was so washed i couldn't do anything right and i'm back man and this is not easy to do either this is like a harder windscreen uh, you really have to time that swap perfectly. Because it's like as soon as your tippy tip toe pixel uh, passes the threshold where it begins the sequence that starts the let's go home thing, it's like you lose control of your character. So you literally have to do it frame perfectly on that exact frame. And I did it. And I did it well. GG's. Finally, finally got uh, Crimson Sun. Good lord, that took forever, man. 1.6 has been out for a while. Almost a month pretty much to the day it came out on august 2nd so it took me almost a month to get this but we got it and it was awesome and we also got metal box as well which was just also awesome this is pretty much as good of a stun run that we could have asked for except for no uh armor fear which is fine the, the run was still very good like good lord stun monkey obviously uh we didn't get the exact ability we wanted but stun monkey can be very good uh, you just kind of need, like with, and this is with stun in general, you need that, that oomph. You need that extra oomph to make up for the, uh, item slots you're slotting towards your stun. So, 
a warrior steel mace is a great item to have on a stun run but you like even more than that you need like something like this or this to give you the damage percent you normally would have at this point in the run so we got there and we got there really well too um God, dude, multi-dimensional prism is the only odd item out, but I will not apologize for the multi-dimensional prism. I love this item. Like, I can't get enough of this item. And having it on this run was just awesome. Uh, obviously, the ring in every run meme continues to live on. God, I love this meme. Like, just meme it up, baby. Give me the ring every run. I'll take it. There's no, there's not a lot of times I won't take the ring. It's my one of my favorite items in the entire game. In fact, maybe these two are my favorite items. I don't know. I've never really thought about too hard about my uh, favorite items. I know multidimensional prism is my favorite item, and I'm also a very big fan of uh, um, mutant giants X two, which I had to ditch. I just like mutant, and I like manatech a lot. So, yeah, that's really uh, you know as far as the run goes. I think I've said my piece. Uh, I hope you watched to the end, and if you did, I hope you enjoyed yourself. Um, you know, I just can't you know say enough how much I appreciate uh, how people are watching this channel and people leave nice comments all the time and tell me how much they uh, enjoy the content and i just you know i'm appreciative i do uh very much enjoy reading stuff like that and uh yeah this was a very excellent run and i uh will see you again in the next one Bye bye